A friends of a Hanover couple contacted 12 on your side as they navigate life following a spinal cord injury. A fall at home altered Brenda Jones life. Her husband Burke is doing all he can to support her, but the medical bills they're piling up and friends want to help ease the burden. New at six Jasmine Turner sat down with the Jones family and has more now on how you could help. Tucked away on a private road in Hanover. We have two daughters and both of them have homes right next to us. We're just a real close family and we enjoy where we live. Is a home full of memories. My brother and I have been married for 53 years. And a family with unwavering faith. We have really been blessed, truly blessed. God has been so wonderful to us. And so we try hard to keep that in the forefront and not dwell on the fact that we had this horrible, well, several horrible things happen to us at one time. Even as they adjust to changes. <laughs> brought on by challenges. The construction people in here today, they're tearing out the, the bathroom and trying to set up a place where we can bathe Brenda appropriately. In April, Brenda Jones lost her balance and fell at home, injuring her cervical spine. She's not able to use her legs and she can use her arms, but she can't clasp her hands like she wants to. And she wants to get back to uh, working on the computer and crocheting and cooking and doing things like that. Months in the hospital and a rehabilitation center, Brenda is back home with her husband, Burke, and grateful to spend time with her children and grandchildren. But medical expenses have taken their toll. But we still had to, um, we had to sell the two cars we had because we had to buy a, a wheelchair van. We're spending money that we didn't expect to spend uh, on, uh, well, expenses that we weren't prepared for it. And we're kind of old, it's going to be a hard time for us to pay that back before, before we go to be with God because uh, it's very expensive to get big time help like we get. Helping is what Brenda and Burke's lives were dedicated to for decades. Brenda retiring to take care of her grandkids after 30 years as a teacher in Hanover and Henrico. Burke's career spanned from the Henrico County Sheriff's Office to an advanced life support provider for the Richmond Airport. He's also been a member of the Ashland Volunteer Rescue Squad for 25 years, gaining family along the way. My partners on the rescue squad uh, at the present time, the Mintons, were they were responsible for establishing a GoFundMe page, which I, didn't, you know, I never even thought about it. In the last two months, friends and loved ones have raised $10,000. The Jones friends are hoping to help them by reaching a $50,000 goal. The selling of our cars wouldn't have come close to, to covering the expense of modifying the house and buying the van. So GoFundMe uh, really stepped up and, and helped immensely. We're pretty old. I mean, you know, these people who have helped us so much are basically every age group. Even that has been very significant to us. In this season of change, faith, hope, and love are remaining while Brenda and Burke navigate the days to come. I pray that anybody that would go through a situation like this would have the support of their family because it's, it's, it's essential. And again, the community so far has raised more than $10,000, but friends of the Jones family really hoping to make it to that $50,000 goal. If you're interested in helping, you can find the online fundraiser in this story on our website on NBC12.com. On your side, Jasmine Turner, NBC12. Thanks, Jasmine.